All right. Hey, everyone. I hope you're having a great week. Today, we are going to deep dive into the Canon R5C USB power delivery options. We're going to deep dive into the USB-C power delivery options. In a previous video, we went over the various options you can have or use, rather, to power your Canon R5C for long periods of time. I'll put a link in the description below or at the end of this video for that. In today's video, we're going to deep dive into one of those options. We're going to deep dive into the USB power delivery option, PD option. If that interests you, stick around. We're going to jump right in. All right. Hey, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to talk about two different options here. What we're talking about is your Canon R5C has a USB-C port on the side of the camera. Now that port can be used to power your camera even in 8K60 for long periods of time. So how would you do that? And that's what we're going to jump in today. I'm going to go over two options. One I'm going to go over very quickly, and the other we're going to I'm actually I actually have the device here and we'll talk about it in detail. So this is the FX Line Nano 2 Ultra Compact V mount battery. It has 98 watt hours. It's very compact battery and it will power your camera for a long time, a great deal of time. Uh, it's well worth the money. However, it is not cheap. It is $299.99. I'll put a link in the description below so you can take a look at that. Now, if you look at the back of the battery or right at the front of the battery here, you're going to see that there is an LED control. The LED control is really nice. And this shows you how much battery you have, how many how much power you have left. It also shows you, I believe, the amount of voltage or output that you're, you're sending from the battery. I could be wrong on that. I haven't had the opportunity to experiment with, it, experiment with it a lot, but definitely check out the link below to have more information on it. Now, what makes this battery so great is it's one of two, maybe one of three V-mount batteries where you don't have to have a P-tap or D-tap to actually use it. It actually has enough juice coming out of the USB-C port that it can power the Canon R5C without having any other type of cable. A lot of the V-mount batteries don't put out enough juice to do that from the USB port. Let's look at those ports. So if you look on the side here, you'll see that there's three USB ports. One is the USB-C, which you'd be using for the Canon R5C. The other two ports are the older USB technologies. The USB-C is the one you would be using. So. 98 watt hours. It has a USB-C port that has enough juice to power coming out of it to power your Canon R5C. Not many of them have that. And it has an awesome LED screen on the front that lets you know how much battery you, how much battery is left and kind of what output you're putting out. Now this is a $299 battery, but man, that is not bad for a V-mount battery. And with having the LED display and the USB-C output, it's enough to run this Canon R5C. That is pretty special. I think it's worth the price. I may actually eventually get one myself. So let's look at our second option here. And this is my favorite and what I'm going to spend more time going over. This is the Anchor PowerCore Plus 26800 PD 45-watt battery. Now this little guy is excellent. It only runs for $159. This is what it looks like. This is your Anchor battery. It's got a little, little lights on the front so you can see how much power is left. You've got your hookups on the front here, and it comes with a charger that pretty much charges it super quick. I'm talking about very quick, but recharge it in a couple of hours, recharge completely. Uh, this is excellent charger. So this, it also comes with a nice little case. So you carry it all in, not that, not that I actually use that much, but hey, it's nice. So why do I like this so much? It's lightweight. You're looking at $159. Uh, it, char it recharges very quickly. And the amount of runtime I'm getting out of this is excellent. So on 4K60, I'm getting six hours and 10 minutes. On 4K24, I'm getting nine hours and 50 minutes. Now, I like to correct the mistake I made in the last video or two. I mentioned in the last video too that whatever you get in 4K60 with the power solution, you'll probably get double that in 4K24. I don't know what I was thinking. My bad, that's not true. Now I did more in-depth battery power tests for this video. I, I played it till it ran out. I did 4K60 all the way to the battery ran out. I did 4K20 all the way to the battery ran out. 4K60, six hours and 10 minutes. 4K24, 
nine hours and 50 minutes. So you're looking at about 50% more power. So half of six hours is three hours. I got 50, I got three extra hours in 4K24. So that's the difference of 4K24, 4K60, about 50% more uh, battery life, uh, battery runtime rather. So a few things you want to take note of when you're using this option is, first thing you need to do is have the camera battery in the camera. You can turn it on and then you hook up the power bank. And once you do that, you're going to see this little symbol here, USB PD. That lets, you know, that lets you know that it is working. Now that you have it running and it is, is in that mode, you can hot swap your Canon battery and just replace it. You can take it out and put it back in and you can do that while you're recording. That's pretty neat. You can also do the same with the anchor battery. You can actually unhook it and then put another one on and hook it up also. So, when one, so once you have it in this mode, you can hot swap either one of them which is, that's awesome. And think about that. If you have two anchor batteries, I don't know why you would need to, but if you had two of these power banks, you can pretty much run 4K 24, 20 hours with nonstop if you have the storage to do that in your camera, that is. If you needed to hot swap your, your um, power bank, you could. I don't think you'd ever need to, to be honest with you, but just something to be aware of. Now the internal battery, if you need to swap that out too, you can also do that. So that's pretty neat. So that's it. This is your anchor power core. I'll put a link to it below. It's a, it's a PD 45 watt power core an plus anchor power bank. So I think it's very important to get the power delivery 45 watt anchor power core plus. That's the one that will give you enough juice for your Canon R5C. And it comes with that 60 watt power delivery charger, which charges it very quickly. So one thing I wanted to quickly mention also is this small rig universal power bank holder, power bank clamp. Now this is the 2790 model. So small rig universal Power bank holder 2790. You can get it for 22 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link to it below. This is how I carry the power bank attached to the camera. If you have a camera cage, you can put it on top of the handle or you can put it on the side of the cage and hold it either way. It works out really nicely. That's what I use. So, excellent options here. Total solution. 159 for the power bank, 22 bucks for the clamp. You're looking at 180 bucks, not, and you're looking at six hours of 4K 60, 10 hours of 4K 24. That is awesome. You can't beat that. So, hey, I'm not sure if I covered all of your questions. If you have any questions that I didn't cover about this particular solution, leave me a message below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I like this solution. I use this the most. Hopefully you find this interesting. Again, if you have any questions, leave me a message below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet and this has been helpful to you, click that subscribe button. It helps get the word out to others so they can be also helped with this information. Go ahead and press that like button too. That helps get the video out to other people so they can also learn about these different options. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and we'll see you again next time. Bye.